ਜਸ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਦਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਹੋਸਟ ਆਸ਼ਮਿਤਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਿੱਘਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਨਸਾਫ ਅਤੇ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਦੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਚਰਚਾ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਹੋ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਉਹ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਟਰੰਪ ਦੇ ਵਕ ਵਕ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੋਣ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਉਹ ਆਨ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਹੋਰ ਲੀਗਲ ਮਸਲੇ ਹੋਣ ਸੁਪਰੀਮ ਕੋਰਟ ਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਫੋਕਸ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਸਾਲ ਵੀ ਪਿਆ ਸੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੁਝ ਡਿਸੀਜਨਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਇਸ ਸਾਲ ਵੀ ਪਿਆ ਆਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਤਦ ਦਾ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਸਾਡੀ ਡੇ ਟੂ ਡੇ ਲਾਈਵਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਫੈਕਟ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਇੰਪੈਕਟ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨ ਜਸਟਿਸਸ ਦਾ ਉਹਨ ਜੱਜਸ ਦਾ ਜੋ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੇ ਕੇਸਸ ਉੱਤੇ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਰੂਲਿੰਗਸ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਅੱਜ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮਾਨ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਨਿਊਲੀ ਇਲੈਕਟਿਡ ਜੱਜ ਹਨ ਬਟ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਤੋਂ ਆ ਕੇ ਉਹ ਅਫੀਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਇੱਕ ਬੈਂਚ ਤੇ ਬੈਠਣਗੇ ਐਂਡ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਕਹਿਲਾਇਆ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਜੱਜ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੋ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਜੁਆਇਨ ਮੀ ਇਨ ਵੈਲਕਮਿੰਗ ਜੱਜ ਇਲੈਕਟ ਫਰਮ ਟੈਕਸਸ ਮਨਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਕੌਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਮਨਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫਾਰ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਆਈ ਅਪਰੀਸ਼ੀਏਟ ਇਟ Uh, Manpreet ji first of all congratulations um thank you uh, thank you it's a big moment not just for me but really my community and that's what i'm the most excited about um so you are joining us from texas you are the newly elected judge from Harris County Civil Court um and uh, you know in Harris County of course includes Houston as well as a lot of other big cities in Texas a huge number of south asians punjabis are um included in in this area but namely so are a whole lot of other people um you know and all these folks voted to elect you um as an incoming judge first of all uh, manpreet ji tell us about um the significance of this election of you succeeding um to to win this election well to me it is a huge uh deal because everybody had to punch the name singh um as you said it wasn't just six it wasn't just punjabis it wasn't south asians it, everybody had to look at the name singh and they had to punch it so i feel like um at least six got some sort of recognition by seeing the name over and over again for this past year so that's pretty great um i was born and raised in houston texas the third largest city in the nation and my parents were one of the first six um in houston so for not only um our community but my my family particularly it's a big accomplishment that we have somebody here i mean just like everybody's uh story we're all immigrants and not, i don't think my parents ever thought that they would see their own child's name on the ballot uh immigrating to this great country so this has been an amazing ride for us and um i i'm really excited to have this achievement and i'm excited to represent our community the way I've been able to for so long but on a bigger platform. Uh Manpreeti, you know, this year um these midterms were uh, I think kafi uh, itihasik sikhan le punjabian le across the country. Um we saw so many candidates from our community running for various positions up and down the ballot. Um you know, from the most local seats to uh city council, school board, state assembly, um to even bigger elections and though the results of each obviously um you know, varied in your case you were successful in this campaign with this run um uh, to to get elected the 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 judge for the county civil court um but this is one of those positions that mainu nahi lagda sare log ki changi tarah samajhde hai ke what this position entails um you know we were talking before and sometimes people think oh you're a a, a, a sitting judge agar mainu parking ticket mil mil jandi hai kuch idda hunda hai ke tusi maaf kar sakde mere liye but it's it's so much deep than that right tell us a little bit about this position and what it entails um what you'll be responsible for yeah so most people when they think of judges they automatically think of tickets just like when i became a lawyer they said can you get me out of a ticket and i thought <laughs> well i kind of do a different type of law um and also too we think of criminal law when we think of uh, judges right when people have that but there's also civil law which um people are exposed to when uh, two parties sue each other if there's a business dispute or if there's a car accident 
or if there's a homeowner that wants to evict their tenant or vice versa, a tenant that needs to take their homeowner to the to the court. So this mm -hmm. courtroom actually does everything that's civil and affects your life day to day. So uh, to have a representative in our community on that level, I think will be really helpful. And you know, you commented about how many six had been running across America, and it was so amazing for me to see that having other colleagues. In fact, there was another Munfreed Core who won, and who would have thought? You know, like yeah. all these years, we go to the gas station looking for a keychain with our name on it, and there's two Munfreed Cores that happen to run in the nation. Um, I thought that was pretty pretty cool. You know, seeing that we actually have have that many other sick candidates that were around. I was really excited to have um, that we weren't the one and only anymore. We have a, another, another number of uh, candidates out there. Um, I, I'm so glad you mentioned um, the other Manpreet, uh, who, you know, we've had a chance to um, converse with her on this channel a few times as well and share information about her campaign with our viewers. Um, but to, to hear exactly like you said, at least there's more than one, right? Ginti ta hai ki, Sade Vargyandi, Kaur, Singh, eho je naam, ballots te on, you know, uh, political uh, support signs in people's yards and on the sides of highways. Um, we finally have started seeing them in greater number. It is really a proud moment. Um, but Eho ji, um, you know, uh, accomplishments, they, they don't happen without support. Um, and sometimes uh, for certain candidates, they happen regardless of support, um, right? I want to talk a little little bit about the experience ki reha hai um khas karke sadi community de naal baaki barli community de naal um kis tarah tusi eh ji campaign um run kiti successfully run kiti i'd love to hear a little bit um of how you got to where you are today um i take a chote ji break landa sama aage man pri ji don't go anywhere a conversation jai rahi viewers tusi vi is tarah jude raho milde hain break to spar tusi vekh rahe ho program aj da mudda आज असी गाल कर रहे हैं कुछ ऐहो जे कैंडिडेट्स दी जिन्होंने इस पिछले मिटर इलेक्शन दे विच आप दी कैंपेन रन की थी सक्सेसफुली रन की थी एंड जदो सिंह अते कौर दा ना उठदा है उस नानु रोशन कीता दे सर नाल आज जुड़े हन मनप्रीत कौर सिंह न्यूली इलेक्टेड जज फ्रॉम हैरिस काउंटी टेक्सास मनप्रीत जी वेलकम बैक um, to see Sanu Abdi is positioned by the Dasre, see, uh, you know, what it entails and what a, a significant um, accomplishment this is. Judge Singh, um, Hun Bench De Loki in Avikhange, in one of the largest counties in the country. Um, Jedi Abadi Kinne Vade Vadi Ginti Devich Andiye. Um, Manpriji, a jo to see, um, Kadam Chukya. Inu uh, vich success panli. I'd love to hear what your experience was like with support. Jitte tano support mili, jitte tano hor support mil sagdi si. Where there is still room for improvement. Um, Sanu is experience vare. Please da so. I had three elections. That's very unusual for most candidates, but specifically for a sick candidate who doesn't. You know, our people really don't understand a lot of the election process. So because I was in a midterm and this seat was an open seat, I had to go through the primary process. And for the primary process, there were three other candidates that were in there. And for when I won that, because it wasn't over 51%, I had another runoff. Mm -hmm. And then after the runoff, after I won that and I became the Democratic nominee, I then went to November elections for the general election, which most of us are familiar with. We think about elections, we think presidential election, governor election, yeah. those are the big ones. And even with midterms, as you know, they're not as high attended, not high numbers as it is for a presidential election. So there was two challenges. I had to get the community out three times and I had to have them understand why they need to be out three times and not just the normal one that they expected. Um, so there's a lot of education that was involved in this process mm -hmm. um, and a lot of things too when you're in a primary system you have to pick a side you have to pick a party 
to go and vote in the primary system. So I ran as a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. And a lot of six were saying, well, I don't want to go and vote Democrat because I'm a Republican, even though that they didn't realize that that was the, the thing that pushed me forward to be able to go to the next one. So I had to explain that process that it doesn't make you a non-Republican to come in and vote for me in the Democratic primary. Right. Um, and and that, that education process went time after time. Um, I will say what was a little bit shocking to me, or maybe maybe it's not because we're always like, but there was a lot of complacency, a lot of people in the community who just, even with a sick woman on the ballot, still could not find the time in two weeks to go and vote for them. So that just shows you, you know, even when I, and I would tell our community that I said, listen, we call every politician in this Gurdwara and we have them talk to us and, and we tell them that we're important. If we're 6% of the population in our vote here in Harris County and with having a sick person on the ballot, we don't make it to seven. We don't show them that this number matters. We move it. We can't tell the politicians that we're important, pay attention to us. So it was very, very hard for me to um, bring across to them that if we don't vote with a sick candidate, then we're not going to be as important. And that, I think, was the biggest challenge. And I think getting that engagement and having people involved in the process is something that we're going to have to work with uh, within our community a as these elections go forward. Um, what an interesting perspective um, you've shared. community support support um, words they which nahi hundi kya ke nahi support kiti jande you have to follow that up with action and unfortunately sometimes othe saadi community piche pe jande hai the action is not always there but uh, you know in cheezan bare gal karni ina te attention draw karni that's the first step right if we recognize that listen this is where we need to improve then only can we get to the point of bettering ourselves or at least yeah and, that, and that's not to say that the community wasn't excited as well right like there were so many people that were over the over the moon excited yeah. so excited to be a part of the process so we have that as well and i think we do that well right and especially since i won i went to gurdwara and everybody's very loving they give they gave me my blessings mm -hmm. that i i need so, um, you know, they also do that part too, but if there's ever a learning lesson in these, in these uh, processes, it's just that, that we still need to remain engaged and mm -hmm. really do the easiest thing. We're not asking for fundraising dollars as much as we're asking yeah. for that one vote. That's so precious, it's easy, it's free, and we yep. still sometimes don't do that. And it's your most important right as a citizen of this country. Um, you're talking about engagement, right? And uh, sometimes, um, khas karke jo sadi uh, community de vich jada, uh, you know, successful members han, o, o kende ke, listen, I'm donating a lot of money. I'm holding these fundraisers and they're fantastic, right? That is so important because koi vi political campaign bina paise to nahi run kiti ja sakdi. But at the end of the day, the money is for the purpose of getting the votes, right? Um, so tell us a little bit about how overall we can engage more because I think to our day election to ek bahut vada si lesson six sakde. And not just uh, from the experience you just relayed for us about people, uh, you know, getting involved more, but about uh, the education aspect, right? Ke jo race sigi highly unusual in the sense that you know we think pre, you know election you go cast one vote for the candidate from your party that you like that is in your area but it's more than that kadi kawar tonu ek wari do wari tin wari vote paani pendi hai sometimes to see republican ho ke vi democratically vote pa sakde ho you can cross the aisle so to speak or have a split ballot so to speak um so tell us a little bit on jo sardi sikh community hai ki punjabiyan uh, voting jo population punjabiyan di hai uh, you know what would you say to them about these small elections these off-year elections like midterms um, and even elections that you may have to vote more than once like we're about to see it happen in Georgia in a couple of weeks exactly I mean all these votes matter and they change the trajectory of your life everyday life people forget that 
local elections and local politics matter more than federal because that affects your every single day life. Mm -hmm. And so when we come out for presidential elections because, you know, Trump is very, uh, you know, negative and he's out there and he's, you know, spewing whatever and we're like, we're going to go vote against him. People need to think about everyday everyday life and when those elections matter and why yeah. voting in that place matters more and why that that those off term elections matter for every single intersection of your life and how you how you uh, evolve in that. Yep. Absolutely. You couldn't have said it any better. Um, once again, Manpreet Gaur Singh, a big congratulations on this win. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing some insights with us. Uh, Thank you so much for having me. We'd love to hear how your tenure is turning out once you uh, get to take that bench. And uh, we wish you the best of luck. Have a good rest of your evening, Manpreet Ji. Sat Sri Akal. Sat Sri Akal. Um, suddenly, Sadi Gesley, Manpreet Kaur Singh, newly elected judge in Texas. If you have any questions, you can email us at justbroadcasting.com. Ashmita at justbroadcasting.com. Sat Sri Akal.